Good morning, children. Welcome to math class. How are you all, children? I hope you all good. So, in the previous class, we discussed about open shapes, closed shapes. Open shape means a shape is open. So, now tell me, children, this is open shape or closed shape? Yes, this is open shape. And what shape it is? It is open shape or closed shape? Yes, it is closed shape. And we discuss shape, some shape, children. What shape it is? What is the name of this shape? It's circle. So, circle have any side children? No. So, circle have zero sides. The circle have zero sides. Now, tell me children, what is the name of this shape? What is the name of this shape? It's triangle. So, triangle have how many sides children? One, two, three. So, triangle have Three sides. Okay. Next. What is the name of this shape? It's square. What is the name of this shape? Square. So square have how many sides should have? One, two, three, four. So square have four sides. Next. Last shape. What shape it is? It is Rectangle. What shape it is? Rectangle. So rectangle has how many sides children? Four sides. Okay, only circle has only zero sides. And triangle have three sides. Square having four sides. And rectangle having four sides. So now we will discuss about roll and slide. Okay, children. So what are the objects that we can roll? And what are the that get slide. Okay. Roll and slide. Okay. So the objects that have a flat surface that can slide. Okay. The object that have a flat surface that it slide. If you observe this duster children, so this is having Flat surface or covered surface? Is this flat surface or not? Yes, it is flat surface is not sure. So this type of object that can slide. Okay, so we can slide. That way it is slide. Okay, is it roll children? No. Why? Because this is not having covered surface. Okay, the object that can have a flat surface that can slide like this. Okay, that's the reason it Okay. Now tell me children, duster slides are rolls? Yes, duster slides. Okay, duster slides. Why? Because the duster having flat surface. Okay, the duster having flat surface. So now I am asking one question children. Ball. So ball it can slides are rolls? Ball it slides are rolls children? So what type, what type of the surface does the ball have children? So ball have curved surface. Okay, ball have curved surface. So it's roll. Okay, ball it's roll. So what are the objects that have the curved surface? It's roll and the object that have the flat surface? It's slides. So now in page number 28 children, here given some objects. Ball. So we know that bar it rolls and pencil box. So pencil box is also having like this flat surface. Am I correct? So it slides and roll. Yes, it slides. Next, birthday cap. Okay, children, it is birthday cap. So now it is slides and roll, children. So we are we are wearing birthday cap like this now. So in the down, it is having one surface now. If you are keeping like this means it slides and if you leave it on the floor it rolls. So the birthday cap it rolls and slides. Next last one glass. Okay. So glass it rolls or slides children. So glass this is glass now. If we place it on the if you see here children glass. So 
glass having both flat surface and covered surface should have. Okay, just if you place it on the floor means it slides. If you leave it on the floor means it rolls. Okay, glass and glass in both rolls and slides should have. So we discussed order in the just if it is revision class. That's why children. So in this uh, now the revision of first chapter completed children. So what are the topics we learn in this chapter? So first we learn closed and open shape. So what are the closed shapes and what are the open shapes we learn? And we learn the types of lines, straight lines and curved lines. So now tell me children. So this is formed by straight lines and curved lines. Yes, this is formed by straight lines. And now tell me. Okay, 
right edge near the heavier object and right L near the lighter object. So their ball is heavier object, also right edge. And pencil is lighter object, also right L. Next children. So if we give it three objects now. So the first one is bar, pencil, bar, pen and water bottle. Okay, bar, pen, water bottle. So now observe children. Take turns to hold a tennis ball, a pan and, and a bottle filled with water, filling the glass. We have to take turns to hold a tennis ball and pan and water bottle is filled with water. So now fill in the blank children. The water bottle is heavier or lighter than the ball. Okay, here the water bottle is filled with water now, filled with water children. So now here. The which one is heavier children? See, the water bottle is heavier than the ball or lighter than the ball? Water bottle heavier than the ball or lighter than the ball? Yes, water bottle is heavier than the ball. Okay children, next. The ball is dash than the pen. Okay, ball is dash than the pen. So ball is heavier or pen is heavier children? Ball is heavier or pen is heavier? Yes. Ball is heavier than the pen. The ball is heavier than the pen because pen is like an object children. Okay. So we use the words. So while we compare three objects. So for example children when we compare two objects we are using heavier and lighter. So when we compare two objects, we are using heavier and lighter. So but when we compare more than two objects, okay, when we compare more than two objects, we are using heaviest, heaviest and lightest. Okay, when we compare more than two objects, we are using heaviest and lightest. Here we compare three more children. So the first one is bar and the second one is pen and the third one is water bottle. Here we compare these three more children. So when we compare more than two objects, we say that in this two, which one is heaviest children? Yes, water bottle is heaviest object. Why we are saying heaviest children? Because when So everyone once revise this and once you have to revise this 6.8 in page number 83 children. Okay, this is about today's class. Thank you. Have a nice day.